Okay, so what we're going to be working on today is determining whether or not a function is even or odd. So I want you to try to recall from last year from geometry when you guys did transformations, a rotation of 180 degrees, which we're going to talk about right over here, and a reflection in the y-axis, which is right here. So hopefully you remember when you reflect something over the y-axis, it's a mirror image. So the rule, hopefully you remember, is when you have x, y, the rule for reflection over the y-axis is x, y becomes negative x, ne uh, positive y. Okay? So if I have 3, 5, 3, 5 will become negative 3, comma, 5. So let's just take a look at this now. Notice the x values. Look at the x values here. The x values are opposite. And look at the y values. My y values are the same. All right, so remember, when you have a reflection over the y-axis, so I'm just going to do a quick graph of this, 3, 5. So there's 3, 5. And when I reflect over the y-axis and I get negative 3, 5, that's over here. The points are symmetrical to the y-axis. It's a mirror image. So that's something that we have to remember. So this is symmetrical to the y-axis. Okay? And let's just take a look over here at the rotation of 180 degrees. So remember, the rotation of 180 degrees would be when you took your paper and you turned it upside down. So if you remember what the rule is, hopefully you do, x, y becomes negative x, negative y. So 3, 5 becomes negative 3, negative 5. So notice that the x values, the x values are opposite, but so are the y values. The y values are also opposite. So on the graph, if we look at this graph quickly, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here's 3, 5, and then we have negative 3, negative 5, which would be right over here. Okay, so that's actually a rotation. It's a turn of 180 degrees. So if I took my paper and I turned it upside down, where my point starts when I turn my paper upside down, it's actually in this, this blue point is in the same place. It's, it'll be now in quadrant one, okay, at three, five. Okay, so over here, just some quick notes over here. Okay, so we have uh, a even function is a reflection over the y-axis. So the rule is x, y becomes negative x, comma, y. And therefore, the graph is symmetrical to the y-axis. And then we have our odd function. Our odd function is the rotation of 180 degrees. So x, y becomes negative x, negative y. All right, so now how do we determine if a function is even or odd? So the first thing you're going to do, so step one, is find f of x. Now what you're going to do is you're going to pick a number. So you pick a number. You're going to pick a number for x. And then what you're going to do is find f of negative x. So notice that what I have up here is x and this is negative x. So they have to be opposites. So whatever you plugged in for x over here, you have to do opposite of that. You have to do the inverse. Okay, so you have to plug in opposite the x value you plugged in for number one. Okay, so let's take a look over here. So 
what you want to do before we get started is just note this at the bottom of your paper. So put a star right above the star that's down here and write, you cannot use, I was going to write plug, but put use, you cannot use zero and you cannot get zero as an answer. And the reason why is because zero is um, uh, zeros at the origin, so it's on the axis, so you wouldn't be able to uh, tell if it's a rotation or a reflection. It wouldn't uh, help us out there. So let's take a look at number one. And then we do have to actually talk about algebraically too. But let's take a look at number one. And I have f of x is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 5. So you want to pick a number. So you pick any number you want. You can't pick zero though. So let's try f of 2. So I'm going to pick a number for, two, for x and plug it in. So I'm going to use f of 2. So it will be 2 squared plus 4 times 2 minus 5. So you're going to plug that into your calculator and you get 6. Now you have to do opposite your x value. So you're going to do f of negative 2. So it's negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 minus 5. Plug this in a calculator and you get negative 9. Now these are different. So write different over here. They're not the same and they're not opposites. So they're different. So let's just take a look at over here, uh, down here for a second at our rules. So if, if the results are equal, then the function is even. So think even equal. If the results are opposites, then the function is odd. So think opposites odd. Any other type of results after evaluating results in the function not being even or equal. All right, so let's take a look at this. So I have here, I have different. They're not the same. These are not the same. And they're not opposites. This is 6 and this is negative 9. The one's positive, one is negative, but they're not opposites. So this is neither. So we're going to write the word neither. Neither odd or even because it is not symmetrical to the y-axis and it is not a rotation of 180 degrees. Okay, now you do have to be able, you do have to know how to do this algebraically. Okay, so let me get rid of this red writing here and let's talk about algebraically. So what I want you to do when you do these problems is at first I do want you to do it numerically, which is what we did here. Okay, now I want you to do it algebraically. So first I want you to rewrite f of x is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 5. So that's this part you did here. Now you need to do this part, f of negative x. So wherever you see an x, remember when you evaluate, wherever you see an x, you have to plug in your input. That's your input. So it'll be negative x squared plus 4 times negative x minus 5. So negative x squared is positive x squared, right? It's negative x times negative x is positive x. And then 4 times negative x is negative 4x. And then I have minus 5. So now you have to look at these. So let's see. Uh, I started off with positive x squared. It's still positive x squared. And now I have positive 4x and negative 4x. So these are the same. This one and this one are the same. These are now opposites. And then these two here are the same. So that means they're different. In order for them to be equal, the whole thing has to be this even. They all, both of these have to be exactly the same. In order for them to be opposites, they both have, they have to be inverses of each other. 
So these are not inverses. This is the same as this, and this is the same. These are opposites, but the rest is not. So therefore, it is neither. All right, so let's flip it over and um, let's take a look at the back. Okay, so let's take a look at number two. So I have here that f of x is equal to 8x to the second minus 2x to the fourth. All right, so we're going to start with f of, just pick any number, I'm going to pick f of 3. Okay, so f of 3 is equal to 8 times 3 squared minus 2 times 3 to the fourth. Just plug it into your calculator. You get negative 90. Now we're going to do f of negative 3. So it's 8 times negative 3 squared minus 2 times negative 3 to the fourth power. Plug it into your calculator. And you also get negative 90. So what do we notice about these? These are equal. Equal means even. Alright, so now I want to also, before I write, you know, why it's even, I want to do it algebraically. So first I'm going to rewrite the function. f of x equals 8x squared minus 2x to the fourth. Now I want to do f of negative x. So wherever I see an x, I'm going to plug in negative x. So it's 8 times negative x squared minus 2 times negative x to the fourth power. So this becomes f of negative x is equal to negative x to the second power is going to be positive x. So it's 8x squared minus, so I have negative x to the fourth power, right, this right here, negative x to the fourth power is going to be positive. Anything, any negatives to raise to an even power is always positive. So that's going to be 2x to the fourth power. So notice I started off with positive 8x squared. It's still positive 8x squared. Negative 2x to the fourth, negative 2x to the fourth. So when I plugged in x, plugged in negative x, I get the same exact thing. That would mean that it's equal. And equal means even. So now we're going to write uh, it's even because, so let's write even because, and then you write it is symmetrical to the y axis. Okay, let's look at the next one. I know your number three is nice and typed. I had to redo mine. So just bear with that. Okay, so I have f of x is equal to x to the third times x minus two times x plus two. So pick a number. I'm going to pick four this time. So I have f of four is equal to four cubed times 4 minus 2, times 4 plus 2. Okay, so you're going to plug that into your calculator. So put me on pause so you can plug it in. You have to be able to do this on your own. And come back. So you get 768. Now we're going to do f of negative 4. So it's negative 4 to the third power, times negative 4 minus 2, times negative 4 plus 2. And you get, plug it into your calculator, negative 768. So what do you notice about these? These are opposites. So opposites means that it's odd. Opposites odd. Now we want to be able to do it algebraically. So let me rewrite the function. f of x equals x to the third times x minus 2 times x plus 2. Now I want to do opposite my x. So I'm going to do f of negative x. Wherever I see an x, I plug in negative x. So it's negative x to the third times negative x minus 2 times negative x plus 2. Okay, so I get here f of negative x is equal to negative x, negative x to the third power is still negative x to the third. And then I have here times negative x minus 2, which is just negative x minus 2, and then negative x plus 2. Okay, so notice these are opposites, right? So I have positive x to the third, negative x to the third. x minus 2, positive x minus 2. Look here, I have negative x plus 2. x plus 2, negative x minus 2. The, these are opposites. So let's write that down. Opposites. Oops. Opposites. So it's odd. Okay, so we're going to write an odd function. because 
it is a rotation of 180 degrees. Okay, so I'm just going to move everything up and we'll try the last one. Okay, so last one we have f of x is equal to x times x minus 2 squared times x plus 2 squared. All right, so let's start. Let's pick a number. I'm going to pick 2. f of 2. So it's 2 times 2 minus 2 squared times 2 plus 2 squared. So plug that in your calculator. So put it on pause, plug it in. You get 0. Since we got 0 as an answer, um, and we can't get 0 as an answer, we can never plug in... You can never plug in zero here, and you can't get zero as an answer, so you're going to have to pick another number. All right, so let's try uh, three. So let's do f of three here. So f of three is equal to three times three minus two squared times three plus two squared. So use your calculator, plug it in, if you have to put me on pause, and you get 75. So now we plug in the opposite, f of negative three. So it's negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 minus 2 squared times negative 3 plus 2 squared. So you should calculate it, plug it in, and you get negative 75. Okay, so these are opposites. And what does opposite mean? They are odd. So now we're going to do it algebraically. So let's write down f of x. x times x minus 2 squared times x plus 2 squared. Now we're going to plug in f of negative x. So remember, that means wherever you see an x, you plug in your input, which is negative x. So it's negative x times negative x minus 2 squared times negative x plus 2 squared. All right, so let's see what we have here. So these here are opposite. I have x minus 2, that's positive x minus 2. So here's negative x plus 2. So this one and this one are opposites. And then I have x plus 2, positive x, positive 2. This is negative x, negative 2. So these two here are opposites. So that means they are odd. So let's put that down. So opposites. Oops. Opposites are odd. So what do we write? We write that it is odd function because it is a rotation of 180 degrees. Okay, so that's it, and we'll practice in class tomorrow. Have a good night.